Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So, considering the upcoming CSR net exam, many of you have asked me uh, for aptitude related videos. So, here I am going to start a series of videos in which I will upload regarding aptitude. Okay, so we will take topic wise like uh, like different types of questions which are asked in CSR net exam from the aptitude portion and it will be not a long series. It will be like consist of around five to six videos in which we will discuss different types of questions and then we will see that how to solve them okay so today in this video i will take geometry related questions i will take questions from the previous few years of csr net exam and also i will give you a question so that you can also practice okay so all these will be from the previous years of csr net exam so uh, like all the basic needs or all the basic formula which you need to remember to solve these type of question that also i'll discuss and then i'll tell you that how you can apply those formula to solve that question all right so that is what we uh, like that is what i have considered till now to include in this particular series if you want something else to be included do let me know in the comment sections below your suggestions are highly welcomed okay now uh, if you are new to this channel and if you have not subscribed the channel yet please do consider subscribing it and uh, now let's start this particular video Alright, so when we say geometry related questions or geometry related uh, problems which are asked in CSR net exam, mostly they are like area related questions, okay, like area of figures. So, general formula which you should know that area of a circle is equals to pi r square where r is the radius of the circle, then area of a square you all know it is equals to like side square and then you have area of rectangle that can be easily done like length into width okay length into breadth then if you have a semicircle okay if you have semicircle semicircle means a circle which is half so that area of that will be like half pi r square simple like you have to just take half of the area of circle then if you have area of a triangle okay if just a triangle is given it's not specified what type of triangle it is then the area will be like half base into height okay that means you have to take the height of the triangle so height is always calculated by the 90 degree so if this is let's say a triangle so this is going to be the height okay the dotted line is the height and the line on which you are making that height is will be the base so this is base and this is height that's how we do it then if you have a equilateral triangle okay if you have a equilateral triangle in that case the area is going to be calculated by root 3 upon 4 and side square so these are some formula which you need to remember in order to solve area related question now these formula are not nothing new okay there is nothing new in these they are just like what you have studied till class 10th so it's just a kind of revision which i have given you for this formula all right now let's start doing question and let's see how to apply these concepts or apply this formula to solve those questions. Right, so let's take this question. This was asked in CSIR net 2021 exam and it says that DRQP, DRQP is a small square of the side small s. Okay, so it's a square whose side is a small s. All right. Now in the corner uh, of the big square ABCD, so ABCD is a big square and of side capital S. So the side of this big square is capital S. All right. So what is the ratio of the area of equilateral, uh, sorry, quadrilateral PBRQ? So PBRQ means you have to find out the area of this particular section. Okay. Uh, uh, square of uh, okay or to that of the square ABCD means you have to what you have to do. You have to find out area of P B R Q divided by area of A B C D. And that's what you have to do to get the answer. Okay, that's the question what they have asked. Now look upon this figure carefully. What exactly it is or how you will get this thing. Okay, I'll just draw this in rough so just to give an idea. So what they are asking is they are giving you a particular square which is on this side and they want you to find out the area of this the, the region which i have shaded in this image right so you have to be very careful that what they are asking and what you have to do so yeah fine so this is what we have 
So how I am going to calculate the area of this shaded region? If from the overall is uh, from the overall this is square. If I remove this thing, then if I remove this part also, and if I remove this part also. So if I remove all these things, I am going to get P B R Q because there is no other formula to calculate. Uh, the area of PBRQ, okay, because it's not a triangle, it's a quadrilateral. So that's why it is not easy to do that directly. So we have to use an indirect method. That means from the overall area, we have to remove all these parts which I have shaded just now. So what I will do that area of PBRQ is equals to area of ABCD. That means this complete area, this complete area minus um area of this is small square that is area of drqp right this is drqp so i'm going to subtract that and minus i have to subtract the area of this triangle that is triangle bcr okay so area of triangle bcr and minus i have to also subtract this apb right so area of triangle apb now Let's understand. So these two things are simple. These are square. So the area will be like area of ABCD will be like its capital S. So capital S square minus this is a small s. So small s square. Okay. So it's pretty simple. Now when we are going to talk about the area of BCR, that is this whole thing. So we know that this side is S, and what will be the value of RC? Tell me. So if this is capital S. And this much is a small s, so this R and C will be capital S minus a small s, right? So that's how you are going to calculate your R C. So uh, this will be like area of triangle will be like half base. Now you have to understand what is base, base and what is height. Since this is 90 degree, right? This is 90 degree. So any line on this like R C is going to be your height and B C is going to be base. So base that is B C into R C. That will be area of BRC. Similarly, you have to do for triangle APB. So for that again, you have to do half. Then again, here is your 90 degrees. So base is AB, right? And height is AP. Now again, AP will again be like capital S minus small s, right? This will be your AP because of the same reason. Now you can just do it directly. So square capital S square minus a small s square minus half bc is capital s into uh, capital s minus a small s okay then minus half again ab is again capital s so capital s into capital s minus a small s right so this is what i am going to get now you know that if two things are half and half they will become like uh, like one right half and half becomes one and these are minus minus so they will be get added so you can write down it as capital s square minus small s square and minus capital s and capital capital s minus small s all right this much is pretty simple now here is what we have to apply some basic ways to solve it or we can open the bracket and solve it also but it will be much easier if we apply some concept so we have this as a square minus b square its identity which we use in mathematics so a square minus b square is given as a plus b into a minus b so that only thing i'm going to apply here so i can write down it as capital s plus small s and capital s minus small s and minus capital S and capital S minus small s to hai. So now you have to take common capital S minus small s and in the bracket you have capital S plus small s which will be left from here and minus this s will be left out, right? Capital S. So you can cancel out capital S and capital S. So what you are going to get now is uh, capital S minus small s into small s. So this much I am going to get as my area of uh, P, B, R, Q. Okay, that's what I am going to get. Now, uh, one more thing which is given to us is capital S upon small s is equals to 3. We will use that later. Let's try to do what was needed or what was required. Let's put all the things in it and let's try to solve further. We have just calculated that area of P, B, R, Q is capital S minus small s 
into small s and in the denominator we have abcd that is complete square so it's a bigger square so area is capital s square all right now what we have to do we can divide uh, or basically we can just multiply upside so it will be like capital s into small s minus small s square divided by capital s now uh, capital s square now divide numerator and denominator by capital s square why we are doing all these things because i need capital s upon small s so that i can put 3 over there okay because that is given to us so i'll just erase this part because i need little bit of a space so yeah now uh, what will happen that i am going to get just when i divide numerator that will be capital s small s divided by small s square minus small s square divided by small s square and in the denominator i will have capital s square divided by small s square that's all here you can cancel out 1 1 s so you will get capital s upon small s minus 1 because these things are going to get cancelled out and in the denominator you will have capital s upon small s ka whole square now you can put the values which are given to you and you can simply get the answer so in the place of anywhere wherever you are getting capital s upon small s you can put 3 so you will get 3 minus 1 divided by 3 ka square that will be 2 upon 9 and that is how you will get option number A. So it was so simple you just have to know the formula basic formula area related formula you have to just apply over there and you have to just solve it. So sol solving the question takes time there are easier ways also like there are shortcut methods also to do it but I am not doing into, the, into that because I just want to make these things make this video so easy so that every one of you understands that how and what is happening. Okay? So yeah, if you are expert, if you become a little bit of expert, you can basically skip some steps and you can do some shortcut tricks. But yeah, here is how you are going to go do this particular question in a straightforward manner. All right, let's take another question. All right, let's take another question from CSIR June 2019 exam. It says that ABCD is a rectangle. O is the midpoint of AD. So O is the midpoint of AD. Fine. Uh, P and Q are the points on AB and CD. So P and Q are the points on AB and CD such that AP is equals to 1 by 4 of AB. Okay. So if this whole length is AB, AP is 1 by 4 of that. So if I consider that AB is equals to X, let's assume it. So if this is X, in that case, in that case, this length is going to be 1 by 4 of that or this will be X by 4. Okay, so this AP is going to be X by 4. Similarly, they say that DQ is also 1 by 4 of DC because it is rectangle. So this also is going to be X only because opposite sides of rectangle are same. So AB and CD both will be equal to X and DQ will again become X by 4. Now what they are asking is the ratio of area of rectangle. So area of rectangle, rectangle ABCD divided by area of triangle OPQ okay so we have this triangle OPQ all right this one the one which I am shading right now this triangle okay so how to do that as I said area of rectangle is length into width so let's consider that width of this triangle is y let's consider that okay now area of rectangle is going to be length into width so that means x into y and area of triangle will be half base into height. Now, this is a triangle, we don't know about it, so we have to draw the height of this. So, height of this triangle will be drawn something like this, right? This is how you are going to draw. So, let's consider that this point is M, okay? So, height of the triangle, okay? So, consider, let's consider that in triangle OPQ, OM is height of the triangle okay and that height you can clearly understand that om will be equal to ap and it will be equal to dq so that om will be equal to ap and that is equals to x by 4 we have already understood that so area of triangle opq will be like half base what will be base so base is the length on which you are drawing the height so you are drawing the height on pq right so that means pq multiplied by this particular height that is om okay and remember height is always drawn at 90 degrees so that's why it is done like this. now you can substitute the values so the numerator is x into y or simply x y i can write down and the denominator will be half pq 
is y right because pq is the width so that will remain y and om will be x by 4 all right so that means this is going to become how much x y upon x y upon 8 so this 8 will go up and this will be like 8 into x y by x y cancel out and you will get your answer as 8 so simple question it was nothing like you don't have to do anything you just have to basically uh, like you just have to solve it just by putting the values. you just have to understand that what are the things given and how you can use that information to get what you need all right okay so let's take the another one okay this question is again pretty simple it says that in the diagram uh, what is the ratio of the total shaded region uh, to the total area of the square and the rectangle okay so let's try to do it so first of all you have to see because lot of things are visually understood and lot of things are like given to you in the visual form okay so let's see so if this is a square and this is a rectangle attached next to it the square length is given to you as a okay so this total length is a or this is a square having width a so this also will have width a because same circle is kept like half of that circle is kept over here so that basically means that the diameter of this circle will be equal to a units or you can say that the radius will be a by 2 okay that is what we have so now we know that area of square let's name them okay let's call it as a b c d and e f and g okay let's name them like this so area of a b c d will be equal to how much that will be equal to a square and area of e f d g that means this rectangle will be equal to base into uh, like length into width so length will be a and width is how much a by 2 so this will be a square by 2 so we have got area of our square and area of rectangle that will be our total area now uh, like the total area of the square and rectangle not what we need is the total area of the shaded region so I, as I said that radius of the circle will be how much that will be equal to a by 2 because you can simply understand if this total distance is a so this much will be a by 2 so shaded region is what shaded region is a circle and semicircle right so you have a complete circle and you have a semicircle simply put the formula so pi r square plus half pi r square put the values so pi radius is a by 2 whole square and plus half pi and a by 2 whole square solve this up so okay i'll do here so this is going to give you how much that will be like pi a square by 4 and plus on solving this you will get uh, pi a square by 8 because this two will get multiplied on taking lcm and solving it now you are basically going to get uh, 2 plus 1 so this will be like 3 pi a square by 8 okay that's what you will get now you have to see that what exactly they are asking they are asking the ratio of total shaded region to the area of square and rectangle so you have to do shaded area shaded area divided by uh, rectangle plus square right so shaded area you already got 3 pi a square by 8 it will be uh, like rectangle and a square if you do combinedly so that will be like uh, a square plus a square by 2 on solving this you will get uh, 3 a square by 2 that's what you are going to get right now basically you have to divide both of them to solve it all so it will be like 3 pi a square by 8 divided by 3 a square by 2 you can cancel out a square a square you can cancel out 3 and 3 so that will be pi by 8 into 2 by 1 and on solving it you will get pi by 4 as your answer that's option number 4 so so simple it is just by knowing the formula you can simply do those these questions all right now i will take a question which is not from the area uh, like on basis of area but that is based on uh, like angles and there also i'll explain you that how to do that all right so to do this question it was asked in csi 2021 exam and it, to do this question you need to know two basic things first is called linear pair angles okay so linear pair angles it means that if you have a straight line and if there are two angles which are made on that straight line 
and if one of the angle uh, like the sum of both the angles will be 180 degrees so if you know one of the angle let's say this is 120 degree the other will be 60 degree in order to become 180 because a straight line makes a 180 degree angle okay so that is called linear pair and second thing which you have to uh, know is angle sum property of a triangle so angle sum property of a triangle okay what does it says that sum of all the three angles of a triangle if this is a triangle let's say a b c so the sum of all these three angle angle a plus angle b plus angle c will be equal to 180 degree okay so this thing you have to know these two things we will apply to solve this particular question i have just named these points as a b and uh, yeah so it says that uh, what is the angle x in the symmetric diagram so in order to do that first of all i have to extend this line okay i have to extend till here and let's call this point as point number c now once we have done this much now we can apply whatever we know linear pair and angle sum property see in order to reach till here you need to know first of all this angle so this is simple to do because this is 130 degree so this according to the linear pair this angle will become 50 degrees okay so it's, since i don't have a space i have written outside but it means that this angle is 50 degrees okay. i know this i want to know this i also have to get to know this angle okay which i don't know yet now i can do that indirectly i can do this angle or i can find out this angle if this is 130 degrees this is again going to be 50 degrees and this is again going to be 50 degrees right because these are all linear pair angles okay so we have got okay so this is 50 degrees so we have got this now we can apply in the triangle abc you can apply angle sum property of the triangle that means all the three angle sum is going to be 180 degree if this is 50 this is 50 this angle needs to be 100 uh, sorry this angle 50 50 is 100 so this angle needs to be 80 in order to become 100 all right so now we know this angle outside angle can we can we get the value of this angle easily we can do right how because uh, this is a linear pair right so if this angle is 80 degree this inside angle will be how much since one is 80 so the other one will be total you have to make 180 so this angle has to be 100 so this angle is basically 100 degrees now this is a small triangle which we need let's uh, take it outside and let's draw it simply like this now in this triangle what i know is this angle is 100 degrees this angle is 50 degrees and this angle is x which i need to find out how i will do simply like 100 plus 50 plus x should give you 180 degree again angle sum property of a triangle so x will be 180 minus 150 so x will be 30 degrees and that's how you will get this answer option number d so this is again geometry based question but it is based upon angle so these basic things these are taught in class i think uh, fifth or sixth uh, so these things you should know and that's how you can apply it to get the answer very simple you just have to be logical you have to be smart enough that you have to utilize whatever you know and how to solve the question let's take one more question and see all right let's take this question again it was asked in csir december 2019 exam for assam and meghalaya region uh, because that time there were two csir net exam which happened and uh, yeah this is from the other question paper it was not asked in all india paper now this question says that what is the area of the figure shown below assuming all the small triangles to be equilateral triangles okay so all the small triangles small small triangles are equilateral triangles see this looks very difficult because uh, you might think that i need a formula to find out area of hexagon and all if you know formula to calculate area of hexagon it's well and good but if you don't know that i'll tell you easy way how to do this see if these are s like this also will be s this also will be s right all these length are going to be like s right because they are all equilateral triangles so if i just talk about this is bigger triangle let's say this bigger triangle okay let's call it as triangle a b c so triangle a b c the length a b will be equal to length b c and will be equal to length a c and this will be equal to how much s s s you are adding three times so it will be equal to 3 s right so this whole big triangle area you can simply calculate it's a equilateral triangle so that you can do plus you have to add these small triangles into it in order to get the total area right so total area can be calculated by calculating the area of this big triangle a b c and then sum of these three small triangles so area of a figure okay this will be equal to 
एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी प्लस थ्री इंटू एरिया ऑफ स्मॉल ट्राइंगल ओके स्मॉल ट्राइंगल मीन ऑल द ट्राइंगल्स आर इक्वलेटरल ट्राइंगल वी कैन यूज द फॉर्मूला फॉर इक्वलेटरल ट्राइंगल दैट इज रूट थ्री अपॉन फोर एंड साइड स्क्वायर नाउ साइड फॉर ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इज हाउ मच दैट इज इक्वल टू थ्री एस सो इट विल बी थ्री एस का स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ एरिया ऑफ ए स्मॉल ट्राइंगल दे आर ऑल्सो इक्वलेटरल सो वी विल यूज रूट थ्री अपॉन फोर एंड देअर साइड इज स्मॉल एस ओनली दे आर नॉट थ्री एस द स्मॉल ट्राइंगल्स हैव साइड ओनली एस यूनिट्स राइट सो एस स्क्वायर नाउ यू जस्ट हैव टू सॉल्व और यू जस्ट हैव टू कैलकुलेट सो रूट थ्री अपॉन फोर एंड दिस विल बिकम नाइन एस स्क्वायर एंड दिस विल बी रूट थ्री अपॉन फोर and this will be like 3s square right this 3 i am just writing the back side so 3s square you can take uh, what you can take root 3 upon 4 and s square as common okay you can take that common so from here you will only have 9 left and from here you will only have 3 left 9 plus 3 is 12 so it will become root 3 upon 4 side is square into 12 you can cancel out by 4 into 3 times this becomes 3 root 3 s square that's going to be your answer and that is your option number a so see you don't have to know all the formulas to do it you can simply apply logic to get the answer right so this is how this question needs to be done now before ending the video i'll give you a homework question or a question to practice so this question was asked in csir june 2018 exam and this is your practice question for today's video it says three semicircles are drawn inside a big circle as shown in the figure If the radius of the two identical small circles is one fourth of that of the big circle, and the radius of the bigger semicircle is twice that of semicircles, that of small semicircles, what portion of the big circle area is shaded? Okay, so I am just do some things like few things which I am just telling you. So just consider that uh, radius of big circle, consider it as capital R, and uh, yeah, and it's given that the radius of two identical smaller circle these are smallest circles okay these are smallest ones or smallest semicircle so smallest semicircle semicircle let's consider their radius the radius is given that it is 1/4 of the big circle so that means that is r by 4 okay the radius of radius of a smallest semicircle then you have a bigger semicircle means this semicircle they are talking about so regarding this big semicircle your radius of a big or bigger semicircle is given to you that it is twice that of a smaller semicircle small semicircle means twice of that so 2 into r by 4 or you will say that this is r by 2 so you, now you know r by 2 so now you know all the uh, basically radius of all the things you need to find out the area of shaded region means the area excluding these things means the one which is shaded so you need to calculate the total area of the bigger circle and you have to subtract the area of 2 into uh, uh, area of smallest semicircle and then you have to subtract radius uh, sorry uh, area of this semicircle so from this total area you have to subtract this area and this area and this area that's all and you will get the answer so try this out and it says what portion of the bigger circle is shaded so you have to take uh, like uh, yeah so you have to find out that how much portion is shaded you have to take ratio at the end okay so try this out and uh, do let me know in the comment section that what is the answer for this particular question all right so i hope you guys liked this video i hope you guys understood and you guys enjoyed what we have discussed in this particular class do let me know if you guys want me to continue this particular series on aptitude question uh, if i will get a good response on this series i'll continue this otherwise i'll switch to something else all right so that's all from my side thank you so much for watching and i will see in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csir ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes you have to take an academy plus subscription 
so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much